Hello everybody, it is the Amazing Gaming Guy here, and have you ever looked at your house in Minecraft and thought, God, this looks awful? I know I have. Well, despair no more, because I'm going to try and help you out with that. So, first things first, a quick question, which house is better? Which of these two houses is better? Uh, that's right, it's this one! No, just kidding, it's this one. Uh, oh god, that was a scary noise. Next question, why is it better? Well, I'm going to try and explain that now, and hopefully that will help you with your own builds to make them better. So, four points that you've got to consider. These points are scale, variation, detail, and accuracy. First things first is scale. If you can, make it big. You'll notice that this house is a lot bigger than this house. And why do we do that? Well. If you compare image sizes, let's say you've got a 16 by 16 pixel size image and a 1600 by 1600 pixel size image, then the 1600 by 1600 is going to have so much more detail and clarity than the 16 by 16. And when you're building in blocks in Minecraft, it really is just like building with pixels. So the bigger you make it, the more detail you can put in the better it will look. Point two, variation. So what is it that makes this house a more varied structure than this house? Well, I've added a porch area there. I've curved this wall and put a window in the curved wall. I've got a little balcony area there, a window, a little dormer roof that comes out and another one and another balcony there. I'm just adding things. I'm bringing this bit out. I'm I'm making that roof taller than that roof. I'm just changing the shape, making it go from box to house. It's really very simple and it brings me on to my next point, which is number 3, detail. You've got to flesh out the structure. So Make things deeper. Make this make this window go in by a block so that you can put in these fences that, I don't know, maybe they look a bit like window shutters or something. They, they don't really, but they, they work. Um, and do things like this. Put, put stairs upside down under your windows and, uh, and make little pillars out of blocks and, and fences and upside down stairs. Upside down stairs are very, very useful. Um, I think I did it a little bit in here. You could do things like this, like make like little bits of, I don't know, expanded wood cladding or something. They, they're they so important and it's a really good way to add detail. So yeah, you want to use all these little things. Here's a few examples that you could use uh, buttons to create corner pieces or bolts on a metallic structure. Uh, fences could be window shutters or support balconies. Uh, mix up your blocks, add a little bit of wood, add a bit of stone. Like over here to act as sort of window shutters, I've put in pieces of wood. They don't really look exactly like window shutters, but on first glance, maybe your eyes will be fooled into thinking they were. And that's what it's all about, really. And that brings me on to my final point, point four, accuracy. It's Minecraft. It's never going to be photorealistic, but people recognise elements of real-life structures that they have seen. So chances are, whatever you're building has some sort of real-life counterpart that you can take inspiration from or copy. Which is fine, you can copy if you need to, but try to take inspiration from a number of sources so that you don't get the exact replica of the real-life building. Here's an example. When I was building this building, I started by searching American suburban houses on Google because I don't live in America, you might be able to tell my voice, so I don't really know what they look like. Um, and I just let my image search with, you know, with all the little images just sitting on Google, just sit on my screen so that I could glance at it and sort of take elements from it. Some of the elements that I took from that was this uh, sort of extruded dormer roof area coming out there and obviously the porches. The, the sort of por porch overhang over the doorway, the shuttered windows, 
these little dormer windows in the roof, like it's had sort of a loft conversion. Everything, like just little things like that, that when you look at it just by glancing at it, you'll recognise that as something from the real life object. So that's really about it. Obviously I've simplified it a lot, but that is the force of basic steps that you can try and do to improve your house from little blocky monk blockerson over here to something a little bit better. I'm not going to say this is amazing. There's build teams who could do far better than this, but I think it's uh, a style that's achievable just by following those four steps. So do try it out. If you think you've got something really good, show me what you've come up with. Um, you can contact me on Twitter, put the link on the, on the video now. Uh, show me your buildings, show me pictures and things, I want to see them, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.